air chamber goes on top. We'll thread it in till we feel it touch the wedge. There we go. And then we'll do up the collet here. This, by the way, is an excellent uh, method. Many times that you'll get these in the shop, the adjusters will be seized on them and you cannot get the drum off of the brake shoes because there's a rust ridge in there. So if you can't get the adjusters turned back through the uh, inspection ports because they're seized, we can always take off the air line, take off the air chamber, pull out the wedge and usually the brake shoes will come back enough that you can get the drum off there. So once we get this back on, then we just simply uh, tighten it down. I'm going to put the shoes on now. So note again, uh, what we can do is we can lubricate these up with a little bit of anti-seize. Uh, and because that's a wear point, they're just going to hook in. Make sure you get the adjuster end towards the adjuster. And we want to make sure they engage in both the plungers. This shoe goes on, noting the adjuster end. So, and then they'll lock into our, our plunger assemblies themselves. Like so. And then we put the springs on. Note the springs have to have the curve clearing the axle itself because this will bolt right onto the axle assembly. And then we'll put on our other spring, noting the curve. Again, having the manual handy helps to clear up those details and uh, also leaving the other side assembled before you uh, finish the uh, first side always helps as well. And we'll lock it in place. And uh, what we can do is uh, use our brake gauge to calculate the distance that the drum is and then make these shoes just a little smaller by turning these adjusters in and out with a screwdriver. We can get this set up so that it's exactly the right dimension so there's a minimal amount of adjustment we have to do after we put the drum on. Again, remember we want to have the drum to lining clearance uh, so that it's not dragging on the drum. The shoes aren't dragging on the drum when they're released, but uh, they're not so far away that it's not going to actuate. So the easiest way to do it is set them up with rotating the wheel, tighten them up till they uh, just start to drag, and then back them off till they're, till they're free rotating. And when we're done, we can see the operation of it just by applying a little bit of air to the system. See how the 